And now to talk about our module of the week, let's turn it over to Martin. What do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. Have you ever wanted a highly configurable way to integrate multiple AI services with your Drupal site? There's a module for that. It's called Augmenter AI, and it was created in October 2022 by Murray W. of Morphed, though recent releases are by LNL. The most recent version is 1.1.2, which works with Drupal 9.5 and 10, and it is actively maintained. In fact, that release was uh, came out just earlier this month. It does have documentation available, and there are 11 issues open on the project, three of which are bugs, which is not bad considering it is in use by 82 sites. Now to use Augmenter AI, you need to define one or more Augmenter configuration entities. An Augmenter entity implements an Augmenter type, which determines what AI service it can use, what configuration options it will have available, and so on. The Augmenter will define one or more messages that provide structure to the prompt that will be passed to the AI AI model in order to generate a response. It can also be configured in a variety of ways, such as how much randomness to use, a maximum response length, and more. You can expose your augmenters to content creators by adding a CK editor button or by adding fields to your site's entity forms. For each field, you can use you can choose which widget to use and how it should interact with any existing data in the field you want to target. So as an example, you could have it generate a summary from your body field and put that automatically into the summary field. Or you could have it suggest tags, but the specialized widget will render each of those tag suggestions as a clickable element that will add the tag into the core tag field. It's very, very sort of easy and intuitive. There are currently modules available to integrate Augmenter AI with ChatGPT, Google Cloud Vision, AWS AI, and a variety of others. So let's talk about Augmenter AI. Well, one thing that I'm curious, I guess I have two questions. One is, does it also work with image fields? Can you generate you know, thumbnails or post teaser images or things? So my understanding, and um, um, you know, I may not have the, the most up-to-date knowledge, but my understanding is it, it will work with images, but right now it's not doing as much image generation as potentially doing things like examining a user provided image and doing things like sentiment analysis or suggesting tags for that image. Okay. Can it also help with cropping like focal point? Do you know? Cause that would solve so many problems for so many of my clients. It's an interesting idea. I've definitely heard of image services that use AI to sort of try and automatically determine the focal point of the image, but I haven't heard of sort of a publicly available model that exposes that almost as a service. So um, I okay. suspect that if such a service existed, then uh, Augmenter AI might be an ideal way to sort of, you know, integrate that into your Drupal site. Okay. I feel like I feel like that's going to be... Um... You know, we're, we're obviously going to talk more about AI in general and AI in Drupal um, throughout the show today. But like, I feel like that's one aspect where I'm like, hey, I want that image field where I can just say hit generate and it will generate an image and it will put it in there. And then like if it had the uh, kind of the AI focal point functionality, that'd be cool. But like, you know, baby steps, like let's get to that yeah. first first piece. And I, I, I don't think that there is something out there that does that yet. I think there are different services that will generate provide you a link and you can link to it, but I don't think it'll, it'll kind of like pull it into the Drupal code base for you or, uh Oh, Martin's, <laughs> Martin's shaking his head. There is a module for that. And we're going to uh, talk to that a little bit when we get into our main topic. Got it. Okay. I'm, 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 um, spoiling the, uh, surprise. Right. <laughs> well, one other thing that I'm curious about with Augmenter though, is can you configure API keys kind of per Augmenter per user? Yeah, absolutely. So it actually relies on the key module for uh, key management. And then for each augmenter that you define, you sort of choose which key you want to use. And so theoretically, for whatever reason, you might even say you could potentially even have like multiple, let's say, chat GPT keys. I'm not sure why you would need to do that, but, you know, theoretically, you could do that if you needed to. 
Very cool. This this seems like one of those integration modules that will start to become more and more useful as we figure out in the community the best way to use AI. Like, it, it, I think the world's still trying to figure out the best way to use AI. Drupal community itself is also, which is you know one of the the topics for today. But I think these type of these type of glue modules are really one of the things that shows the power of Drupal because you know you're you're not installing a module specific to the service that you're using. You're installing a module as you configure a bunch of different services. And one of the nice things about this type of module over like a straight open AI or you know chat GPT module is it makes it easier to experiment with other services or change services. So um it it you know that I think kind of lends itself to the open source ethos as well. Like you're not being locked into one specific well outside of maybe process or something like you can you can test AWS over um, OpenAI if you want to. Um, and I assume it's, you know, since it's configuration, you can just kind of deploy that once you've tested it and, and decided to make the switch. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, you know, it follows kind of that that um, thinking of like uh, search API and, and uh, the translation module that I'm failing to remember the name of. It's like... TMGMT or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, like that? that one. The, 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 yeah, exactly. And acronym hard. It, anyway, I, I just um, called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, <laughs> module. <laughs> yeah, I always, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so the, like it's taking that approach to like, hey, we're going to provide you kind of like a, a interaction layer and then you can provide whatever backend you want to, to power it. I think that's. That's interesting. One question that I did have, and I don't know, maybe you guys already talked about this and I missed it, but in theory, you could, if you had your own AI that you were kind of AI model, service, whatever that you were building, you could essentially build your own integration into Augmenter AI and, and use that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's kind of the beauty of, of having, you know, I think to next point, almost like a composable approach is mm. you have sort of a variety of off the shelf, you know, mod. Uh, models and services that you can use as, you know, sort of the the generative component there. But yeah, if you were to sort of train your own model, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to connect to that again, provided you've got sort of a, a well structured API there. As you know, Martin is a, a co maintainer of this module. I'm wondering, like, does a, a I don't know a standard or a standard method of API exist for AI yet. So like, for example, you know, you're building Augmenter, you have to then build a um, integration with ChatGPT or, you know, Google Cloud Vision or whatever, you know, the backend is. I'm assuming that like the those services and connections are defined in that, in that integration. But I'm wondering is, is there a, um, standard out there where it's like, Hey, every AI is going to provide you with like this set of services or is going to define services in this way so that they could almost be like augmenter could almost move into like a framework where it's like, I expect this because I'm using the standard. Right. I would, I mean, I being completely honest, don't, really know the answer to that question, but I would say probably not. I mean, I think the the field being as new as it is, and, yeah. you know, as an example, a service like MidJourney doesn't even have an API. Like, you have to use Discord as the way to sort of query it and get the images. So hmm. um, I would expect not, but I feel like this module has the potential to, the potential to be almost like an abstraction layer in the same way that, like, when you think about when jQuery came out, one of the things that was so amazing about it was you didn't have to write JavaScript that was like, specifically for Internet Explorer, specifically for, you know, Mozilla-based browsers, that it was sort of like one standard that would handle sort of the underlying intricacies of dealing with those different browsers on its own. In the same way, this allows you to take an approach to generating things using AI, um, and it will do the work of sort of understanding how to translate the, the standardized pieces into, you know, what's going to uh, return a request, a return and a uh, result from those different services. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I thought the answer was, but um, I figured you probably knew better than I did. So thanks for confirming that. Awesome. Thank you, Martin. And if you, if our listeners want to suggest a module of the week uh, or just connect, what's the best way for them to do that? 
So anyone who wants to suggest a module of the week, you know, happy to uh, take suggestions on Drupal Slack in the Talking Drupal channel, or they can contact me directly as Manclue on any of the Drupal or social platforms.